name is Chad Idle, and I'm a product marketing manager at McGraw-Hill Education, and I'd like to welcome you to an introduction to Everyday Mathematics, a comprehensive core elementary mathematics program for grades K through grade 6, and the only program that's engineered for how children learn. Everyday Mathematics 4, which is the latest version of the program, has been engineered for the Common Core and college and career readiness. It helps you be confident that all your students have the opportunity to succeed. We've also created a brand new digital experience for Everyday Mathematics 4, and it adapts to fit your classroom, which means you can implement Everyday Mathematics 4 fully digitally or using a print digital hybrid approach, whatever meets your needs. But it's important to remember that Everyday Mathematics 4, like every other version of Everyday Mathematics, is grounded in the same research-based, research-proven approach that's been at the heart of the program for over 25 years. It's based on over a century of research into how children learn. It's the most rigorously field-tested elementary math program available, and its effectiveness is research-proven with over 25 years of achievement seen in classrooms across the country and all over the world. But one of the things that makes Everyday Mathematics unique is also one of the things that makes it so effective, and that's the Everyday Mathematics Spiral. Now, over a century of research into the learning sciences has consistently shown that spiraling, which is sometimes called distributed practice, is the most effective way to learn any concept. With the spiral, as your children progress along the learning trajectory of a topic or a standard, they're exposed to that topic in different contexts over a period of time. And with each repeated exposure, their conceptual understanding grows and their depth of knowledge deepens, developing true, enduring mastery. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Common Core, what I said, just said, might sound familiar. And there's a reason for that. This is the introduction to the Common Core Standards for Mathematics. And this tells us that the standards seek to not only stress conceptual understanding of key ideas, but to also follow a design that continually returns to organizing principles. And the publisher's criteria tells us that in order to have coherence, materials cannot approach each individual content standard as a separate event. So, if the authors of Everyday Mathematics and the Common Core agree with all the research that shows that spiraling really is how children learn most effectively, why doesn't every program spiral? Well, the answer is that creating a spiraling program requires, requires very, very careful engineering. Each part of the curriculum, including lessons, practice, and assessments, has to be carefully mapped out. Each topic has to be thoughtfully woven into every part of the curriculum along carefully crafted learning trajectories. And this kind of engineering simply can't be accomplished without close collaboration among all the authors of the program across all grades. And that's another thing that's unique about Everyday Mathematics. It's the only program that's written at, the, at an internationally respected university, in this case the University of Chicago, by education researchers who have dedicated their careers to improving math education. Under the direction of Andy Isaacs, our team of authors worked together in close collaboration at the Center for Elementary Mathematics and Science Education to create a comprehensive, carefully engineered elementary mathematics curriculum. But their research doesn't stop at writing the program. The authors work with teachers across the country to make sure the program is working in real classrooms. During its development, the entire curriculum was field tested, one grade at a time for a full year. And for Everyday Mathematics 4, the authors tested lessons with over 800 students across the country, and they tested our new open response and re-engagement lessons with an additional 1,400 students across the country. Now, even though creating a spiral program requires careful engineering, implementing Everyday Mathematics in your classroom is a fun and rewarding experience both for you and your children. So let's take a quick look at what the spiral looks like in your classroom. So standard 2082 is a second grade standard that requires that your children be able to fluently add and subtract within 20 using mental strategies. And so when you start the unit, Everyday Mathematics already gives you clear direction as to what you should expect your children to know by the end of the unit. In this case, we tell you that you should expect your children to know doubles facts and sums of 10. So in lesson 1-2, you begin instruction of the standard by asking your children to, solve a num to use a number line to solve a real world problem. And then a few lessons later, you explore equivalent names with your children, helping them understand the concept by first thinking about people they know. You point out that they might call their mother mom, but that other people might call her Mrs. Smith. And that helps your children more easily understand the concept that the number 10 is the same thing or is equivalent to the addition fact 9 plus 1. In the next lesson, you extend that concept by asking your students to think about all the combinations of numbers that add up to 10 that they can think of. And then they share their answers, becoming more confident in defending their reasoning. And then the next lesson, the concept is practiced and reinforced by a fun go fish like game where they practice making combinations of 10. Now this develops mental strategies and helps your children develop speed and mental math. But on top of that, as they're playing the game, they're not only reasoning for themselves, but they're also keeping their eye on the reasoning of their peers, making sure that every move is correct. And so by the end of the unit in lesson 113, which is a two day progress check lesson, 
you're ready to assess your children's progress toward mastering the concept of doubles facts and sums of 10, and to evaluate their readiness to begin work extending what they've learned in Unit 1. So I hope you can see how spiraling increases your children's conceptual understanding and deepens their depth of knowledge, preparing them for more rigorous problem solving in later units. So let's look at an example of what it looks like in a, in a later unit. So in Unit 5, your children are going to be ready to solve more complicated number stories by applying their knowledge that's grown and developed over previous lesson, applying that knowledge to real world problems. But of course, the solid foundation that spiraling gives your children can be seen not only in one topic across a few units. We can see the higher level of achievement in students all over the country who use everyday mathematics. For example, in the state of California, on the 2013 California Standards Test in Mathematics, the percentage of students scoring at proficient or advanced declined pretty sharply after grade four. But in Conejo Valley, longtime users of everyday mathematics, the scores which already outpace the state at every grade stay high even in the upper grades. We can also go look at students who go on from elementary school to take an algebra course. In the state of New Jersey in 2013, just under 30% of all students in the state took an algebra course. And of those students, only 60% scored a grade of C or better. But let's look at Elizabeth City, New Jersey. That's an ethnically diverse district, and they're also longtime users of everyday mathematics. In Elizabeth City, almost 100% of students went on to take an algebra course in high school. And of those, 75% received a grade of C or better. And the impact of everyday mathematics can be seen in the first year the program is implemented. On the 2010 Tennessee Comprehensive Assessment Program in uh, the Murfreesboro, Ten uh, Murfreesboro School District, under 50% of students in grade 3 scored proficient or advanced. But when they implemented everyday mathematics in the 2011 school year, that score jumped 15 points to 63% proficient or advanced. And that number's grown to 70% proficient or advanced last year. That's a 20% gain just three years after implementing everyday mathematics. And those results have been verified by the U.S. Department of Education's What Works Clearinghouse, which has found that using everyday mathematics, your students could see gains double that of other programs. So I'd like to thank you for this quick, joining me for this quick introduction to everyday mathematics. At McGraw-Hill Education, we're extremely proud of the long history of success of the program, and we're very excited about the most recent version, Everyday Mathematics 4. And I hope you'll join me for additional presentations about how Everyday Mathematics 4 has been engineered for the Common Core, how it gives all your students the opportunity to succeed, and uh, finally, I, I hope you'll join me for a quick introduction to Everyday Mathematics 4 technology, technology that adapts to fit your classroom. Thank you.